In this video, we are going to be looking over this Canon AE-1 program, 35mm film SLR camera, equipped with the Canon FD 50mm f1.8 prime lens. And this is the newer type lens with the button as opposed to the breech lock. So what I thought we would do is put it through the standard paces here to kind of check it over. And so I'm going to open up the battery compartment, and that's just a little tricky. Okay, so there's a battery in here, and uh, I don't know how old it is, but it, it's operating the camera, so it'll go with it. The battery door on this camera is in very nice condition. I see nothing wrong with that at all, and the latch works nicely. Uh, one thing about this camera is it is missing this little action grip that was just held on with one little screw there. It hooked over that and you had to take that off in order to open the battery door and perhaps the last owner took it off and lost it or something. It has absolutely no functional purpose other than to give your fingers a little something to grip on this side. And the earlier uh, Canon AE-1 did not have it at all. So that was one of the additions with the AE-1 program. So be aware that's missing. I'm setting the uh, shutter speed here at 1 1,000th 1, on the top, and I thought we'd just step down through and see how it sounds. Okay, and what we heard there is what I tend to call the uh, cannon cough, or, the, or what some people call a squeal in the shutter. And uh, let's do a few more here. Here's that 1 500th. And uh, 250th. 1 one twenty fifth, one sixtieth, one thirtieth. I'm going to set the aperture down so we can watch the aperture stop down here in the lens too. Um, so now we're at, uh, we'll go to one fifteenth, and we saw that one eighth, one fourth. One half, one full second, two full seconds, and the bulb setting where the lens stays stopped down and the uh, shutter stays open as long as I hold the button down and then the cycle completes. So everything worked, but we did hear that squeal. And I will uh, just warn you that there are some videos out there that show how to take the, the, uh, the mount off and, and, and they actually show blasting a uh, shot of WD-40 in through one of the lens mount screw holes once you get a few pieces off here. I would say don't ever do that. You run way too much risk of just contaminating all kinds of stuff in there. That's that's not a good thing. Even though it'll quiet it down, it, it's not a good thing to do. So this one does need to be properly serviced in order to correct that. And I thought what we'll do here is uh, run the shutter here with, with the uh, lens off. You can see that mirror is slow getting up out of the way. So, so it's in that mirror uh, part there I think is where the noise is coming from but it all works it just needs some lubrication and uh, some cleaning up so be aware of that one thing I wanted to do uh, well first we'll just look at the lens here it's got a nice smooth focus and the aperture ring nice clicks and it also features this locking A which is used with the camera's program function so you could put it there and then use the program mode and you wouldn't ever have to set aperture or shutter speed and just let the camera make all the decisions for you. And supposedly it does a pretty good job, but if you uh, want to have a little more control, you can pick uh, your own shutter speed and aperture and, and do it that way. Um, one thing I should do is have the lens wide open and put on here and now let's open up the back, pull up on the rewind crank and the back opens up. 
And now I'm going to set this on bulb and hold this open. And I want the aperture wide open. And I want to shine a bright LED flashlight in through the back. Now, I don't know if you can see any of this through the through the video. I see what looks like just a little bit of haze and some and some uh, some dust. It's not real bad, but I, I would say it's not a perfectly clean lens. In fact, you know, right at that spot, there's, there's almost an area along the bottom of the lens that looks to me like it's got some fog and haze in there. Some of this now is on the surface. I see some dust lighting up there. But anyway, uh, be aware of that. And while we have the back open, let's turn the camera around and look at this. Um, if I can set this to run at a run the shutter here. That looks nice. Film transport was working well. Uh, light seals. Uh, there's a little foam right there. Doesn't feel too bad. And if I look here along the door edges, I don't feel any buildup of anything along there, so that's really good too. Oftentimes these door edges will be sticky with goo. So there isn't much there. This camera looks like it was probably not used very much. Um, you know, just the telltale signs of like here on the bottom. Uh, usually if you put the camera on a tripod you'll see lots of pecking around here. I just see one little faint scuff right there. I don't know exactly what that is. And sometimes if you put them in a case uh, you can ding around there a little bit too trying to get the case screw aligned with that. But the bottom of this camera looks quite nice. Just a few little abrasions but nothing really bad. Um, the back, the uh, rubber eye cup is, is, you can pull this off too, but it's very pliable and, and nice. And uh, does come with the front lens cap and this Canon strap. This uh, is still pliable. It's a little bit stiff, but um, it has the Canon name on there. And along with the camera, we have the uh, manual for the AE-1 program, a book, a little booklet of, of, of the lenses that were available for this camera, and just some information about Canon service places. So all of this uh, will, will sell as one lot just like that.